Oh, he makes it silver. Okay, so you guys, are, I'm sweating because I'm wearing a sweatshirt in Florida. Uh, so you guys are gonna see our our strategy for our releases for all of our new limited edition prints, like for the next six months or so. Um, our email marketing strategy and planning and uh, how we're gonna get content, all that stuff. Um, so much shit. There's just so much stuff that goes into all of this. Regardless, Red, I will ask about these. How long? It, like, all right. Realistically, let's go over the campaigns to make sure that you're choosing right. So Black Friday. We haven't even addressed yet. Which as far ones as, do you want to order? I'm I'm trying to like because because they have hundreds of stock prints, and so they're like, what kind of ones? What what kind of prints do you want to see? So I would I'm like plaid camos, animal print, so they'll send me these. So I don't know what to ask for. Like I know there's a ton of stuff I haven't seen yet without having to do like a custom sublimation, which is gonna take way longer, which we can do, but it's more expensive too. We have a, they need to be, I have an out of the box idea. Okay. It's not even a legging. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. What is it? Uh, well, we've talked previously about doing the t-shirt, which I think we should do yeah. anyway for Black Friday, but doing something out of the box like a lounge for a piece. I'm not mad at that. It looks black. It literally looks black. Um, eggplant. I sold. The, I did uh, like eggplant capris at one point. Those are super popular. You do that. I mean, I can see what else they have it's with matching dog. Sure. <laughs> Is the pink camo pink suplex. Eating on Monday morning with that with that designer you know, for that for that new line. Actually, we have all of the all the patterns, all the tech packs, everything's done. We just haven't made samples yet because there's been a delay on fabric getting in there for the samples. Are you talking about the street line or yeah, the street. private t-shirt line? Oh, I'm talking about street. Oh, I'm talking okay. about the t-shirts. I'm just talking about the plain t-shirts that are going to Oh, okay. That's easy. Products. I can do that super easy. Okay. okay. Basically, as a... a as needed. Yeah. It's not going to be insane, but I want to make sure that we're able to refresh the shop because I don't want to turn your shop page on your website into another avenue of just special bodies. Like, here's a product, though. It should right. be interactive with the customer. Agreed. Maybe your top monthly picks? or. I think the monthly month? is really good to... Okay. to it's easy to stay on top of, mm -hmm. you know, every month. Okay, here's what it is. And do a flat lay or do I like put it on? No, do, make sure we get a flat lay. Okay. <laughs> I definitely need to start doing more of them, especially for social media. Okay. Because we have a couple of ideas for it. Even throw in like your phone and a pair of headphones because that's a part of your whole outfit in the gym. Right. I don't know. I kind of want that because we're already, the stuff that goes out to people for social bodies. The podcast is on there, and so is the, the vlog. So it's Black like Friday. Be... Why do I keep saying Black Friday? <laughs> Friday the 13th. I wrote Black Friday when I was posting Friday the 13th today, when I was posting the images from the email blast. I woke up so angry today. I'm not gonna lie, it feels like a Black Friday. <laughs> do you ever just wake up like a ball of anger? <laughs> In a cartoon, like. You have no reason. <laughs> no fucking business being angry. There's footage of us prepping for this giant photo shoot we have this week. It's gonna be for the release of like seven or eight new items and basically a refresh of content for all our social platforms. So it's a big deal from the models to the new releases to all the behind the scenes stuff, the videographer, the photographer, the people coordinating, me, it's so much, but it's awesome and it's a lot of pressure, but I wouldn't have it any other way. conference call with my chief marketing officer and my chief strategy officer so that's Hallie and Chris and we go over what we're supposed to accomplish for the week what we accomplished last week what our goals are 
and she did like an hour uh, conference call. So my assistant, Ashley, one of her new duties is to log on to the conference call, be present, take notes, uh, so nothing is forgotten that is discussed and everything is tackled in the week ahead. So I text her at 7.30 a.m. and she didn't, she doesn't pick up, or she doesn't answer, so I'm like, oh, she probably overslept. And I was like a little annoyed. And then, I, so I didn't hear from her, didn't hear from her. And then, so we just had the conference call. Then I was supposed to drive down to Miami because I had this meeting with uh, Apparel Design House, which is the design house I'm using to develop the new collection under Social Bodies called Street, which is more of like a high fashion active wear line. And we're finally at the point where we are producing samples and we've been at this for like six months. Uh, creating custom pieces takes so long and it takes so much effort and so much like, just there's so many working parts. So I'm, we're finally at the point where we're ordering fabrics to make the samples and I should have samples within the next few weeks. Flo used also that on one of our okay. new Maybe then, this is like where the quilt is. Yeah. And I love this, but obviously not for a pocket because it's a, yeah, I think it's a little flimsy, right? I think it would be fine. Do you like it to be um, angled? Yeah. Okay, definitely. definitely. More like to wear out, not like to actually do any kind of sweat. I just did. But. I think they were the first ones to do that really um, yeah. signature seam, like underneath the yeah. debauchy. And there's a ton of companies that do it now. I I haven't bought anything that mimics them. Yeah. I just know, like I use them as an example yeah. just because I know that they. Fit, it's right? gonna take so we can do the the leggings too like yeah. for you like I think personally would that that would look really cool if it was plaid yeah. and then had these elements on it too that'd be super badass yeah. so I want to try just start so maybe later I'll yeah. put a note here because we'll have the, we'll have the plaids I'm gonna have her do two colorways and then we'll just have it and then I guess depending on how things go okay for fabric seam Black and maroon we had for colors, and we'll already be ordering the blog. So Ashley was supposed to meet me in Miami to film, get footage for the vlog, and take notes so nothing is forgotten. And I the meeting's at 11, mind you, so I'm driving from where I live in Delray, so it's an hour, and I get a hold of her. She calls me at 10.45, and she just sounds like horrible, and she's like hysterical, and she's like, I, Cause she hadn't been able to sleep for like a few nights in a row, and I remember talking to her throughout last week about it. So I guess she took a Unisom, which I gave her, which is an over-the-counter sleep aid. Cause I was like, hey, these help me sometimes when I can't sleep. So she took that and a Nyquil together. Or yeah. Anyway, so she slept through like 10 alarms and didn't wake up till 10:45. Missed the conference call. Missed the Miami meeting. So I was like, okay, you know what? Shit happens. She's 19. Like we've all had days like that. She's really good at what she does, and she's a good kid, so I was like, okay, just meet me at the office. So, I'm late at okay, sometimes go, days like this happen. Yes, I want you guys to listen to this. I go to Nakaba to get some no, tea. No, start from the beginning. Okay. Start from, start from last yeah. night. Six, start from last night. I couldn't sleep, so I took like that much night quill <laughs> and only a. Uh, what is sleeping it? pill. The um the thing that helps you sleep. Unisom. Unisom. I gave her a Unisom, it's over the counter. <laughs> <laughs> so I <laughs> I put three alarms, six o'clock, six thirty, seven, seven fifteen for the conference call. Okay, so Ash was supposed to be on a conference call this morning with me at seven thirty. She was to log in, take notes, and then she's gonna meet me in Miami because we had a meeting and I didn't hear from her until like ten forty five. Okay, so that's where we're at now. Then, so she then, calls me. So freaking I, out. I I woke I woke up. I was like, okay, <laughs> I, I'm gonna join the call at 7:30, 7:15. I look at my phone. It's fucking 10:45. I go. The meeting's at 11 in Miami, an hour away. And then I just asked, please forgive me. Like, okay, so we I talked. It was okay. We're okay. All good. So an hour passes, two hours pass, and Max and Christina and I were like, where's, where the fuck is Ashley? So like not even a minute later, the, our landline rings in the office, and Ashley uh, is hysterically crying. We couldn't actually figure out if she was crying or laughing. It's like, okay, Ash, go to okay. Nakava. Go then. to Nakava, get... 
the queen, <laughs> two T's, <laughs> and go to the gas station because I was on E. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then so, uh, <laughs> three o'clock rolls around. And Max is like, hey, where's Chris? where's Ashley? <laughs> and I was like, shit, you're right. Uh, it's fucking three o'clock. And I had a phone interview and it was like 2.56 and uh, our landline rings. And I pick up. Hi. <laughs> and I'm like, hello? Uh, or Celestial Bodies, this is Max. And it's like someone either crying or laughing. And I'm like, so I'm like laughing with her. Like, hey, you're stuck. I'm like, it's all good. I've done it too. But so what? I, so what? So what happened? Why did you? Okay, why did you call so our our landline? I was on E okay. and I pumped some gas. Had my keys on me. Had my wallet. Had to put these shoes on because Celeste only allows shoes in the warehouse. Safety first. Safety first. <laughs> she had ended up locking herself out of her car at the gas station down the street, as well as her phone. So her keys and her phone she locked in her car and had to find a stranger who was like not super freaked out by her like being super hysterical and like googled the landline to the social buddies warehouse and called us it was I, I felt so bad by the time she got here i just like hugged her and i was like dude we all have days like this and then <laughs> i left my keys and wallet and phone in the car and so you locked yourself out of your locked car out, with no phone Go around the whole car trying to open up the doors, they're all locked, and then. So then, what how did I do? So, what did excuse you do? Excuse me, excuse me, can, can you call my and, job? And were you crying already? I were you crying? crying? So, this girl, I go, so hysterical. <laughs> she go, she, how did you get the, the landline I go, number? Celestialbodies.com. I'm like, <laughs> it's not on the website. The guy, this guy, he goes, he goes, he goes, let me help you. Because I'm like, I don't know where it is. So he Googles Celestial Bodies. Is he go, is this the address? I go, yeah. So he calls and it calls him like. <gasps> oh my God, thank God like, for that guy. And then he goes, Celestial Bodies, this is Max. <laughs> and Max. so, okay. And I'm like, Max. We, d we didn't. We didn't know if she was laughing or crying. And so, cause like, <laughs> I know for me, I probably would have been both. But to hear Max's voice, I would have been laughing like, thank God this fucking guy answers. <laughs> so we did so we get off the phone with her and I have to go do this phone interview and we were like, was she laughing or crying? We don't know. So Max goes to go meet her. She was crying. Her mom fucking pulls up right when when Max is there. Your <laughs> mom just pulls up like if she's gonna jump your car. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you should have blocked the people. She blocked the fucking people. She blocked they're the to, people. They're trying to pump some gas. Everybody's like going around her car. <laughs> And she's just like, she goes, she's, like she's, <laughs> she's on the phone with roadside assistance. My brother, my dad, trying to get my keys. Roadside assistance is, um, it's gonna be 90 to 120 minutes. My mom goes, fuck that. So your so mom like brother, breaks the window. She goes, fuck that. She goes, all right, let's go. So we go inside and eat. My brother inside comes Wawa. 30 minutes later with his brand new car. <laughs> See what happened. Uh, Christina is like in the middle of her finals, so is Max and Ash. Actually, yeah, I was so, waiting for an hour. <laughs> so we scheduled like everyone schedules weird today. So I had a little group <laughs> chat going yesterday, like, "Hey guys, Chris has a, a final at whatever time, and then let's meet at the warehouse at one." Because I had a meeting in Miami, which Ash was supposed to be at with me. And then Max shows he texts because Max doesn't have a key to the warehouse, and he's like, "Hey, I'm here," and it was two, and I was like, "Where the fuck is I was everybody?" There, I was there already at one. I waited. I'm like, I'll give them. Like they're in Miami. Like you know, traffic happened. But I was like, okay, I'll just give them thirty minutes. I go to Chick Fil A. I'm like, I'm just gonna get some food. Like, <laughs> and then I'm like, I text. Christina, I was like, where are you? I go, are you is dead? Are you dead? Is you dead? <laughs> oh, no, the best I, know, I just like, finished my final. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> and I started laughing, I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. We're done with today. I just really wanted to reflect on like how sometimes when you start off the day negatively or on a on the wrong foot, how stuff can snowball. And it's not like you're purposely trying to make these things happen, but I feel like once you get in a certain mindset, it's really easy to allow yourself to keep getting in like really shitty situations. 
So she was super flustered from the morning. She thought she was going to be like really in trouble for missing the conference call, missing the meeting. And yeah, I was upset, but like once she locked herself out of her car and was so upset, like I felt bad for her because I was 19 once and I fucked up like that before. And she was so upset, which made me feel bad. And I just wanted to console her and say, hey, you know what? It's going to be better. Tomorrow's going to be a really great day for you. And like it just reminded me of like, all the really shitstorm days I went through in 2017, it was like a record of shitstorm days. Um, and that was during my divorce. And like, I remember I would let stuff snowball, like really bad. And I would have this negative attitude and like, oh, the world hates me or like, fuck me, like my life sucks. And then like bad shit would continue to happen to me or I would like handle things the wrong way because I had the wrong mindset and I know it's like way easier said than done, but like when something bad happens to you, you can't be like a victim. Like you you can't be a victim of circumstance. It, like the things that happen, happen. So it's all about how you deal with them. So she's super young and like she'll learn from this day. Like it was like one of the worst days she's ever had, right? So like she, she got in trouble at work, locked her shit out of her car, couldn't, like, it was just a really bad day and I can relate. And I had, I had a really bad day the following day. And so like, I attribute it to some like weird moon shit, which I won't get into. <laughs> it's just a whole nother topic. But I, I have enough experience with like really shitty days to be able to like take a step back and be like, okay, here's the things that happened that were out of your control. Here's what's in your control. Here's how you can change the, sh here's how you can shift the way that your day is going. Here's how you can shift your mood, your attitude, um, your surroundings. And it's, I, it's way easier said than done, but it's possible and it's doable. And it takes really bad days like that to realize how to handle yourself basically when, when stuff like that happens.